Welcome to another episode of the Lone Recruiter Podcast. I'm your host, Brett Clementson, and if you're a recruiter out on your own or just lacking general guidance or mentorship, then you've come to the right place. Our daily episodes are designed to give you the motivation, advice, and strategies you need to succeed as a lone recruiter. So join us, grab a cup of coffee, and let's take your desk to another level. I don't have a coffee today, so... You're on your own. I have split this one into two parts. Recruitment-specific motivation and then into the practical week setup and execution map. Today being Monday, it can be a hard day for a lot of people. I get told I'm an odd fella. I love Mondays. And I don't know about you, but I think I'm driven by my goals. I get excited knowing that I've got a full week to go and attack those goals and and really make a difference and get stuck into it. I love it. I love the process. I love the job. I love everything about it. But I know that a lot of you listening are not like me, and that's absolutely okay. We are all different, and we all get our energy and thrive off different things. Um, a common, a common thing that I hear from recruiters who are out on their own is they lack motivation. They don't have the team around them to push them along. They don't have a manager pushing them along. They don't realize how much they needed that. We're recruiters, right? We're not, we're, we're typically A-type personalities. And um, with that comes, we, we feed off uh, the energy in the room. We feed off motivations. We see someone else's success and we get excited and we want to push ourselves further. And when you go out on your own, it's very lonely. I've done it. We've all done it. And uh, what I want to try and get out of today is where do you get your recruiting energy from? I want to help you find what works for you. And it's not about what works for me. And it's not about what works for someone else. Everyone is different. And what I want to try and tap into today is where do you get your energy from that will help you and serve you at your desk this week when we recruit. So I typically, and there's so, I mean, we have, we've done countless things on energy and, and, and well-being and everything like that, but I will always bring it back to three core areas and start there, all right? So for me, the first thing I look at is diet and exercise. What does that look like? We all know blood flow, oxygen, quality calories in, uh, they all energize us. So when someone's feeling flat or not motivated, the first thing I say is, when did you last exercise? If it was yesterday, okay, that's probably not exercise. Maybe you're tired from the exercise itself. But quite often, you'll say, oh, yeah, I haven't really done anything for a week. Well, I just say, let's go for a walk. Grab the dogs or kids or on your own, put, some, put a podcast on, listen to this one, listen to something else, go for a walk on the beach, go for a run, go for a weight session. Diet and exercise absolutely has to underpin everything you do. Um, two, habits. What do you have habits? Do you know what your week looks like week in, week out? So there's a beautiful line that says habits keep you going when the motivation isn't there. And we all have moments where we're not motivated, but you just need to trust the process, trust the habits, and know that if you just do the right things, um, then your motivation will come back and you might get a few bits of success and all of a sudden you feel energized again. Um, and the third, and the third area I look at is, well, how do you recharge your batteries? What what energizes you? So, a lot of people uh, they get energized by people, seeing their friends, seeing their family. They get energized by rest. I I love my rest. I need my eight hours sleep. I need my sleep ins on the weekend. It's the only way I charge up. I love my massages. I love float baths. Um, some people it might not be perfect health and well-being. It might be a beer at the pub, but if it energizes you, it energizes you. So it's good to know what energizes you. It's good to know what recharges you. And it's really good to know what's going to help fill your batteries up for the week ahead. So that's sort of where I will start with energy. And only you can answer these questions. So one, have you got the right habits in place? Lean on them if you need to. Two, diet and exercise. When was the last time you did it? What do you need to do this week? How often do you need to do it? And then three, what do you do to recharge? What do you need to do to uh, 
uh, today to recharge? What do you need to plan for over the weekend? How does that look? How do you structure that? All these things help keep your energy levels optimal and being aware of your energy levels. Like we all know that there are certain days of the week after a certain thing the night before or whatever, there are periods in our week that we're flat. We just need to know how to combat them. So for example, a lot of my podcast recording is on a Friday morning. However, I play football Thursday nights and it's super late night and I come home and I'm pumped and it's like midnight and I can't sleep and I go, oh God, and I really struggle to get a full night's sleep on a Thursday night. And knowing I have to front up and do the camera work on a Friday, I think, Jesus, what can I do to help me? So I start looking at this on my calendar and that's where I came up with ice bathing. It was... I know that jumping in that at 6 a.m. in the morning gets me going, gets the blood rushing, and it wakes me up. And I feel a million times better coming to face the camera and you guys uh, once that's once that blood flow is going and once that energy is being pushed. That's not for everyone, but I'm just giving you a good example there. So that's the first bit about energy. The second bit I want to get into today is a couple of quick energy boosters when we're feeling flat. So it's all very well and good to talk about diet and exercise, but they take time, effort, planning. Habits, again, time, effort, planning. And recharging your batteries, time, effort, and planning. But what can you do right now? What could you do in this moment? Answer this honestly. It is Monday morning. Who feels flat right now? Most of us do because it's Monday morning and... We've had a big weekend. We've seen some friends. We might have a two-day hangover. I hope you don't. Um, there's there's a myriad of reasons why Monday is a, a tough morning for everyone. And so let's, let's get some quick shots of energy. I'm going to do them with you right now. So we're only seven minutes in. I've only got a few more minutes to go, so bear with me. I want to start with your deep breathing, okay? So I'm going to do this for 30 seconds. I'm going to breathe in for five seconds. And we're going to hold it for two seconds and we're going to breathe out for five seconds, okay? What we're going to try and do is promote oxygen, airflow, blood flow, and everything that goes with it. So ready? Let's go. In for five. Hold for two. And out for five. I would typically do this for 30 seconds to a minute. If you really want to start to get pumping, we can speed up those intervals. So let's breathe in for four now. Hold for two. Breathe out for four. Let's go again. In. Hold for two. And breathe out for four. And keep doing this. You're already starting to feel a bit better. Let's go for a really big breath. Hold it and breathe out. I already feel better and I'm sure you do too. There are so many better breathing exercises out on the internet than what I can provide to you, but I encourage you to go and find them. I encourage you to do some deep breathing before you get into your day and um, it can really help boost you. Another energy, quick energy booster that I love to do, and I learned this off some documentary years ago that this, arms above the head in a V-shape. If you can't see me on video, I have both arms above my head like I've just won a running race. And the theory behind this, and I'm going to hold them up here while I talk, and I want you to do the same. Put your hands up, and I want you to just put them nice, not not floppy, not, flo not floppy, strong, strong. You can even point your fingers if you want, and you're going to look like an idiot, but I don't care. No one's watching. I can't see you. Um, I, the theory behind this is, have you ever seen someone win a race, a running race? They, that the hundred, Usain Bolt, whenever he wins a 100-meter race, what does he do when he passes that finish line and he wins? His arms go up, he bears his chest, and he, and he salutes the crowd. And the logic behind this is, well, when we were back as monkeys and apes and we would fight for alpha status, the winner would put their arms above their heads like, and, and, and beat their chest – we're not going to do that. We're going to keep our arms above our head and bear their chest. And the logic here is that they would bear their chest to the others to say, no one can touch me. I am alpha. Here, here, here's, I'm exposing my chest, which is all your vital organs, your heart, 
your stomach, your liver, everything is in there. You would not do that if you felt threatened, right? So you're giving a huge signal to the community, to the clan, that you are top dog and alpha. But our primitive brains have not adapted to modern life where we no longer need to be putting our hands in the air to say, hey, I'm alpha dog, we've, we've moved on. But you can tell your brain, you can trick it into thinking you've just won something, that you've just created alpha status. And by purely putting your hands above your head like this in a V, it only takes 7 to 15 seconds, but I'm going to hold here because I feel like it's a power pose. Uh, this, this will really get you going. You can feel positive. If you really want to add some spice to it, positive self-talk. I've got this. I've done this a million times. you got this. It's going to be a great week. Fantastic week. Let's do this. I'm going to smash these deals. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to hit some goals. i got this. Instantly. It's like within 15 seconds, you're going to feel great. Oh, my shoulder's a bit tight there. So you can put your hands down if you haven't already. But the arms up above the head, a huge, quick energy boost for anyone who needs it. And that's a very mental energy boost, if you ask me. If you want a physical me- mental boost or a physical energy boost, sorry, the other one I like to do is five push-ups, five sit-ups. I had someone in my office who used to say, oh, you look flat, Brett. And I go, yeah, a bit flat. Five push-ups, five sit-ups, go. And, and you just didn't have a choice. You said, okay. So you get on the floor, you do five push-ups, do five sit-ups, you'll get up, your blood's pumping, you're ready to rock and roll. Another one I like to do, and I mentioned this before, it takes a little bit longer, but ice bathing or cold showers, instant. So if your alarm goes off in the morning, this is what I like to do, my alarm goes off in the morning and I do not want to spring out of bed, something's wrong. I've got to force myself to get over that little hurdle and I'm going to jump straight in a cold shower or an ice bath. Sound mad? Try it. It will guarantee wake you up and get you get that blood pumping. So that's what I have for energy today. I want to get now onto planning your week. It's an important day of the week. It's Monday. So let's get into it. If you haven't got a, a, a piece of paper or a pen, go grab it or, or bring up a, a digital piece of paper. You can type away, but let's let's try this. So what I want to start with today is end in mind. If you could only achieve three outcomes this week, just three, what are they? So, for example, I always think, what? how many placements am I going to make this week? I look at my deal sheet and go, I'm going to make two this week. Great. Then I think, how many LinkedIn projects or headhunt campaigns am I going to do? Or is it an ad hoc item? Like, I really need to finish my website. Or is it... You know, I, I really need to get my whatever plan in place. It's up to you. So what are the three outcomes this week that are actually going to feel great that when you get to Friday, you go tick, tick, tick. And these are the things you need to really knuckle down on and focus on early in the week to make sure that you get them done because there's nothing worse than getting to an end of a week and going, I don't know what I achieved. And a lot of what we do does go to, go to dust. So it's important to kind of, Focus on those things you can control. So the next thing I want you guys to work out is what is closest to the money. So have you got any invoices that need to be sent out or followed up on today? You want to make sure you get paid. Have you had any offers that have gone out over the weekend that you still need to get an answer on? Has anyone, uh, have you got any offers that you need to get from clients to uh, give to your candidates this week? So next one. Have you got any interviews that you need to book? Anything that anyone expressed interest in candidates that they wanted to meet with them that you need to now schedule? Or anyone that's sort of thinking about a CV, do you need to go and follow them up and say, hey, we've got this person uh, in your inbox. What do you think? Do you want to go and meet them? Uh, do you want to throw some competition into the mix? Hey, that, in, that person you're thinking about, they've got other options lining up later this week. Do you want to jump on board? Thursday's looking like the day they're going to be booking these interviews. Are there any clients or candidates that you want to prep this week before their interviews? Do you need to give a client an angle, advice, what they're looking for, a bit of information so that they are equipped to sell the opportunity to the candidate or vice versa? Do you need to give any information about a company or projects or personalities or the role to the candidate who's going into an interview later this week? Do you need to prep them to to best present themselves for that opportunity? Do you have any deals that need help? 
He, he, he just got that one that just keeps floating on your desk and you just think, I cannot get it past, go, I can't get it past the interview. It's just a little bit stuck. This person's got a question there. That person's got a question here. And you see how it could work. You can see how it won't work. Do you need to get advice on a deal? Call a friend, call an ex-colleague. Someone who is a recruiter who, or, or in sales who can poke holes in these deals is always a good idea. And then next, so that's all the stuff that's on the go. What are we generating this week? Have you got any candidates you need to canvas this week? Have you got any clients that you need to get briefs from? And do you have any projects uh, or headhunt campaigns that you need to start or complete this week? So that's the generation piece. And look, finally, the cherry on top. Uh, Let's wrap everything we've done today. I'm going to wrap this up very quickly. What is your reward? How do you want to break up your week? Do you break up your week? You know, I like to have chip away and have little rewards throughout the week. The reward for me is exercise, gym, family, you know, um, um, sport, massages. But what is the celebration that works for you? So is it an early finish on a Friday? Is it splurging on a gift? Is it booking a weekend away? Is it a massage or a float? It depends on what your goals are. If you're chasing big dreams this week, what were those top three items that you, you wanted to achieve? If you can only have those three, what are those three items? What are you going to do for yourself if you achieve them? Because it's really important to just recognize when you achieve something. So that's what we have for you today. Energy, protect your energy, create your energy, know it works for you. And, and, and if you want to go back to this episode, press pause and, and map this out. Make sure you have a, a plan. A plan is is always needed every week. Um, but yes, that's all we have for you today. You can join our mailing list for all our episode material delivered right to your inbox, hello at thelonerecruiter.com. And if you got any value out of today's episode, please subscribe, share, and recommend this podcast. It really does help us grow and get this out to a wider audience. Have an amazing day and may all your deals come true.